Today we are going to talk about Fiji, or oh, Fiji is just ImageJ. ImageJ is a platform for scientific image processing and analysis written in Java. And as we can see here, it also has plugins which can be downloaded and installed separately. Plugins are like additional ingredients you need for better functionality of specific programs in a particular niche. However, we're going to download Fiji and not ImageJ. And the reason for that is that Fiji, as opposed to ImageJ, comes in with ready-to-use plugins, which comes in by some cooperation, like ImageJ2, Bioformats, OME, Micromanager, Knime, Dice, etc. For those of us in the life sciences, in chemistry, in material sciences, geology, etc., we're going to be using bioformats because it comes with lots of plugins that can be used with microscopy. You can get Fiji by going up here to this link and you can get image J by going up here to this link. So let's get back to Fiji and go to download and hit the download button to download. We are going to see here different possibilities, 64 bit for Windows 32 bits, we have the version for Marcos and we have a 64-bit for Linux. Since most of us are using Windows in this class, we're going to download this version. You first of all have to check if your computer is a 64-bit or 32-bit computer. For my computer, I'm going to go down to the search menu, type control panel, and we're going to have control panel up here. I select it and then go to system and security. And then I go to system, click it, and here we're going to see that my computer is 64 bits. So I'm going to go here and download this 64-bit version by clicking on it. And the computer is asking me what I want to do with the download. I open and it's going to download and a security scan will be run. So for the version of Windows I have, this download comes already with a zip folder that gets extracted. If you have an older version of Windows, the download is going to come only in the form of a zip file and you have to unzip to get this folder. I'm going to right click on this folder and then I copy it. So we can right click somewhere on the desktop and go paste. And here we see that we have 747 items that will be copied onto the desktop. Alternatively, instead of copying to the desktop, you can put this folder somewhere in your C drive, like in the program folder. For the sake of this video, I'm going to put it first to the desktop and then copy later on to my C drive. Copying or unzipping will usually take a very long time. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back to you when the copying is complete. So the extraction is now complete. And as said before, if you're using older computers, you're going to have a zip file which you have to extract and that is going to take a long time. Once you have the folder on the desktop, you need not to install anything. You just can double click on it to open it. And then you're going to see this icon here. And this is what we're going to use to run the application. So I'm going to right click on that, then go to send to, and then go to desktop, create shortcut. I minimize this or I close it all together and we have here a link to our Fiji app as we did before with other software that come in this way and do not need installation like Qt Plot or Fiji. We can take this folder and put it somewhere in our computer where it does not stay on our way. For now, I'm just going to leave it on the desktop. So let's see how the program looks like. We're going to double click here to open it and we're going to have this logo coming up while it is opening and then we are going to have this window that comes up and this is how the program opens up and you're going to have some documentation opening here and the program is going to ask you do you want to start the updater now if you click ok then it's going to update the program and once it's done you can look at the details so right now i'm going to let it update and it's doing checksum. Checksum is a function that the program or software programs uses to check whether 
the program you received on your computer is the same like what was sent from the source. So just a way to check that it's not corrupted on the way. So this is over now and we have a prompt saying your image J is up to date. Note this is Fiji and not image J. And it's saying it's up to date image J because the only difference we have between image J and Fiji is that Fiji comes in with lots of plugins ready for us to do our work. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to leave everything here like it is and I'll go, I'll go cancel or close. I can also close this and here we have our open program. And if you notice, this looks the same like the image J program, except for the logo we have up here. And the most important difference will be in the plugins, whereby you have quite a long list of different plugins, which can be used for different scientific analysis. Congratulations. You now have Fiji installed on your computer and you're now ready to use it for a series of image processing, scientific analysis and documentation. Thank you for watching this video. Please, if you like what I do, do consider to subscribe below and do not forget to give a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you in the next video.